During the break, John John Florence got started. Wow, have a look at this thing. John Florence sets up that first turn. That trademark layback hack that he loves to do on these big open face waves. Driving down the line here, looking for the air, gets the grab. But this is live action. Looks like John's up and riding again. So John already with a 4.17. Wave number two sets up a nice first turn off the lip. Getting some board speed for the tail high punt into the flats. Right into action here. This is John John Florence staying active in the water here, Richie. Yeah, John staying busy, setting up this first turn. Gets the uh, little air rotation and uh, comes straight back into a clean snap. Down the line, smaller wave. Working this one all the way through to the inside. And then John just pulls out. But, uh, yeah, I guess in, uh, you know, his own books, he's in his own mind, He's probably going not one of not one of the best airs I've ever done in competition, uh, but certainly a, it's becoming a functional manoeuvre in the way these surfers are able to perform it early on in the wave and then keep riding down the line. So you can see here, John didn't get the full rotation, so had to do a little bit of work to get the board uh, recorrected, get his position on the board recorrected. You can see there, just shuffling his feet, getting into position, almost sort of jumping off the bottom there and then straight back into this snap. But uh, those red boards looking spicy. We know he's been doing a, uh, a, a lot of work on his equipment, his small wave equipment. Not sure what model he's on at the moment. This could be that variation on the Ghost that he's... Uh... Was that mixed last year, Jovan? Gosh, good question. Possibly, 2016, huh? yep, he came back to win the event in 2016. As we saw him in 2017 as well, I believe. Okay. As we look at... The backside float we did, in fact, and then he's stretching this one out. Italo Ferreira blasting it up the top. Snap to slide again. Throws down the wrap and shuts this one down and steps off. So Italo getting a little warm up against Callum and John John Florence on a nice comeback run now. How'd you like his start here? Yeah, I, I actually really liked it, Joe, to be honest with you. His, uh, his read on this wave was a very good one. The maneuvers were all placed uh, really well in the appropriate place on the wave. And uh, Italo just finding his feet on this one. Nice backhand snap to finish off. The board looks good the way it sits on the water. I'm going to say maybe a fraction longer than what he's normally riding. We get some more intel on that, but gets a little bit of release out of that turn. Fairly wide stance, but you can see driving through there. And, uh, always with those backsiders, getting that eyes down the line again. And now setting up a big first turn. Callum Robson connects and hucks the tail late into the beach. He's incomplete. Florence's turn. John steady off the bottom. There's that aggressive whip in the pocket. Snap to slide. He's down. Uh, John's out there trying to find a rhythm, which seems he's uh, a little bit out of rhythm at the moment. And one of those tricks is being able to find it. 40 minutes to do it. So uh, you, you expect that he's going to be able to turn around. He's had a whole bucket full of nines and and uh, and then the one big win over at, at, at Margaret River, which is kind of odd. That consistency up into the final series hasn't really been there. Just watching Callum Robson here down the line. Just a quick uh, in and out. And then John as well, you know, to... To not have that win or to not have that consistency in the finals appearance, is, it's a bit odd. And it will be Italo getting this wave. So with a better position, he's going for the big backside. Four rod in the flats. Italo oh, will pick goodness. himself back up and continues with the big rotations from Yago to Italo and back-to-back -back heats. <laughs> Wow, an incredible approach to J-Bay today as uh, Italo streaks down the line, takes to the air, covers just a huge amount of ground. And, uh, well, somehow he just uh, rides out of this one. Little off balance. He was actually flat on his back for a moment there and was able to regain composure and get back on his feet. You can see here the board almost coming. Well, it did. Came completely around, landed on the flats again. And at that point, you'd have to think, oh, he's he's toast. That was massive. And the impact of that landing, the way he was able to absorb it, power to his knees. And during that last replay, John got this wave. 
Okay, so John, big swooping cut back to start off. Sets up that second turn. Nice layback slash. And then a clean snap as the third. Driving around the section, starting to wind up the momentum now. All the way through to the inside, clean surfing. And uh, you know when John, he starts to get that look about him where he's going to telegraph the air and he got it done. Oh, and uh, Italo up and riding. Smart decision, Callum too deep, throws away priority and Italo's got some clean water, recovers from that snap. Pushing hard on the hook. Right off the bottom, times it well off the top, but ends up bearing that Timmy Patterson. And he goes goes down, a little out of rhythm for Italo. And six inches of water. And then Italo getting this wave with Callum being too deep, Rich. Yeah, and right at that moment there, so Italo would have just got off a little bit in his foot position. You can see he never really regained composure. Actually, first working with guys like B. Durbage in the past, and also Ross Williams throughout that time as well. They picked up a lot of different tricks to pull off big oh. heat wins as we see the full rotation attempt from Italo for the second time. This time he doesn't pull it off. This has to be one of the coolest places in the world to watch pro surfing. With the grandstand, these beautiful walkways made out of wood as you watch Italo getting started. Snap to start and now he's got that racetrack. Loves to go big above the lip. Now settling down for a bottom turn. Great. Off the top for Italo. 2019 world champ shuts it down. As we go back to Italo's last wave. Yeah, clean snap. Start things off. Springs out of it. And then uh, another clean snap. And then here he had to race. So good read on this one. Race, race, race. Now he squares up. Slams in the lip. Doesn't overcommit. Overturn because he knew he had to get to that final finishing maneuver. So great combination of final two hits on this wave here. Watch this one, gets through the lip and uh, keeps it going down the line so that he could uh, immediately get up back into the lip again. You can see all those dents on the front of his board. That's where he came down on that landing on the air. Just a drifting tail floater to finish off. A nice clean bottom turn, attack the lip, 6-1-7. So John now feeling the pressure, he needs a 7-3-5. Winding up, big tail high oh. reverse, Florence gets it. Perfect transition as he hammers the lip, belts it again. Florence going straight up multiple times, looking to shut it down. Just a quick little head dip to look back at the panel. He enjoyed that one. He just wound the dial up a little <laughs> bit more on that one, didn't he? That's the first wave in this heat where John's looked like the pace has gone up a level. Let's watch the replay here. So John stays nice and high. Now he starts to go, pumps down the line, goes straight into the air reverse. Perfect transition, gets back on. Florence will be reseated into the round of 16 as he's trying to get closer to the WSL final five. Italo stays in second. He will have to deal with the elimination round along with Callum Robson.